In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create notebook pages just like this here in Canva. Creating notebook pages here in Canva is relatively easy, but if you don't want to create them, then let me quickly show you a couple of resources to where you can get lined notebook pages and completely for free. So the first one's going to be here over at Creative Fabrica. Now, if we come here and type in KDP Notebook, click Enter, then what we want to do is scroll down to where it says freebies. We can see that there's 1,291. Now, if we click on freebies, it's now going to filter through all of these results and give us the freebies for notebook interiors. So every single one just here is completely free to use. So that's one way that you can get a notebook interior completely for free. The second way is by using self-publishing titans. Now I'm sure that you've probably heard of these because they have some amazing tools, but they also have a free low content book maker. Now, all that you have to do is sign up for a free account, and then you can come ahead and use this. Now, if we click on selected, let's click on next because they have notebook page, more notebook pages, wide ruled as well, and many, many more. So by using self-publishing titers, free low content bookmaker, you can get notebook interiors completely for free. Now, with that being said, let me quickly go ahead and show you how easy it is to create notebook pages here in Canva. Now, what we're going to utilize is lines. Now, I'm quickly going to use a shortcut, and that is L. So, if I tap L on the keyboard, it's going to give me a line, just like this. We can also come over to Elements, type in lines, let's go on all, and then we can use it under shapes just here, and we can use this one just there. Now from here, what we want to do is make it quite long. So what we're going to do is go to these margins just here. Let's just make that like so, and then let's move this up. Now from here, we're just going to make this a little bit thinner. So we're going to click on there, come up to here where it says line style, then we can change the line weight. Let's change this from four to two, click enter, and we can see that is now thinner. Now from here, all we're going to do is copy and paste. So we're going to do command C on this line and then command V. So now if I press command V, we have a copy of that line. And now if I keep pressing command V like so, we're going to get a lot more lines. So what we're going to do is just put loads on the page like this, because then we're going to use a little Canva hack to completely tidy up these lines. So let's just do a few more like so. And now what we want to do is highlight over all of the lines. So it groups them together like this. Then we're going to come up to the three dots, come down to where it says space evenly, click on tidy up, and now that's tidied up our lines as we can see. Now from here, what we can do is just copy some of this. So we're going to highlight over it. We're going to Command C into Command V, and that way we've duplicated those lines. So let's do Command V again. Let's bring this down, and this is looking good. Now, one thing to note, and that is these lines look a little bit too close. So what we can do is take this last one, pull that down to roundabout. Let's do roundabout here. Then what we're going to do again is highlight all of the lines, come to the three dots, come down to space evenly and click on tidy up. Now, because this line's a lot lower than the other ones, it's going to tidy up perfectly. So space evenly, click on tidy up and that's looking good. Now, this still looks a little bit too close for my liking. So let's pull this down maybe a little bit more to roundabout there. Let's do that again. So we're going to highlight, 
three dots, space evenly, and tidy up. So now, this is actually looking a little bit better, still a little bit close, so let's just do that one last time. Let's go like that, three dots, space evenly, tidy up, and there we go. Now if we copy these last ones and paste like so, we can move that to round about there. We can delete a couple of these end ones. We can come up to the top. We can copy and paste one line. We can move that all the way to round about there. Then we can bring in that line to round about there. And there we go. As you can see, it's incredibly easy to create notebook pages here in Canva. Now, just remember that if your lines look a little bit too close, what we can do is just delete a couple of them like this. We can take that last one, move it down a little bit more to where we want it. Then we can just highlight over all of the lines, go to the three dots, come to space evenly, go to tidy up. And now that's all individually spaced evenly. So again, that's just how easy it is to create notebook pages here in Canva. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps out the channel. And if you want to watch more of my content, then click right here and watch this playlist.